Hey everyone, Hurricane Liz here, back with another video. I just wanted to recap a trade I made, so this is kind of like an update. So in this video, you're gonna find out where I'm at with that particular trade and uh, what I think I'm gonna do. But first, make sure you've, if you haven't already subscribed, you subscribe by using the button below, and I will continue to outline the trades I made and why I made them, despite the fact that some of them are dumb boneheaded mistakes. It's like, duh, what the hell was I thinking, right? I am an action junkie. You, most of you guys should know that. Most of you guys know that I have a strong gambling background. I was one of the top poker players in the world back in the, the early 2000, like 2002 to 2012. So that was quite a while. So with that being said, I'm an action junkie. So what I decided to do is take a $5,000 trade on EOS. And as you can see, it was on the 6th of February. So let's see where we at compared to when I made the trade. So I usually track all my trades on crypto, I think it's crypto pro. Let's take a look, yeah, crypto pro. And I've got the EOS trade logged in here. So let's have a look at what I, I had already owned EOS prior to this and I noticed that it dipped down into the low eights. So I decided to pull the trigger. In fact, I pulled the trigger at 8.23, so $8.23. And I purchased uh, approximately 617 uh, units, I guess. I'm, I'm taking these in Amazon terms. And uh, we can see right now it's at 856. So looks like I had a 20 something cent gain. Uh, let's look at the chart just to see what's going on. I'm here at Trading View. I just typed in EOS. And I will look at it on uh, Binance. So I'm looking at it on Binance and I'm gonna click interactive chart here so I can get the actual chart. And here it is. As you can see, I was charting it back there. This is the four hour chart. So as you can see, we kind of like popped into this nice little range after I bought it, it went up pretty well. Um, and then it's had um, a move down. So let's grab some of these tools here and start drying this out. Actually, let me move this out of the way so I can see this better. And stretch this chart out. So let's get this tool again. As you can see, I'm very clumsy on um, a lot of these things. All right, so finally I got that damn thing. And we got a trend line, um, trend line support there. And we got resist, I'm sorry, trend line resistance there and trend line support here. I obviously cannot do two things at once. I'm very, very bad at it. And it's kind of like broken down here. And now it's kind of like formed this nice little range here. Like So it's like a mini range right here and then over here. And finally I got the hang of it towards the end of the video, which makes me look fucking awesome. So that's sweet. So, all right. So it's kind of stuck in here. Um, If it, or when, I should say, when it actually breaks that area and instead of... Uh, it's got this next area to hit, and if it can get through there, then we are gonna retest some of these previous areas. So I still kinda like the way it looks. And in general, I'm up. Let's see what I'm up. I don't have any plans of selling this off. Um, I bought in at 8.23, it seems what most I got at, and then right now it's at 8.56. So 33 cents on 617, $203 is not gonna pay my damn rent. <laughs> but I am up on the particular trade and I'm gonna to continue to hold. But what I wanted to do is just give you guys a, an update in terms of what's happening here. I, I technically think that what's going on when I look at this is I think that the possibility of it hitting in the $13 range is very possible. In fact, I drew this line here to see just how high it could go, and I can't even see the top. Let's see, it's gonna contract it. I can't move it any higher. So I'd imagine it will retest this area up here and soon hit back somewhere in the $10 mark. I, th I think it was at almost $10, but I think it could potentially hit 13 by the end of March. So I'm gonna hold it. Again, I got in at eight, at 13, I made 75% my money. And I might even just add to this position because right now it's about the same price and I do have some extra money now coming in at the end of the month that I can invest with, invest uh, very 
invest smart is what I'm trying to tell you guys. Don't just be a degenerate and just throw whatever money you got in and do it. But I still think it's at a good price and it's headed to 13 plus. So by the end of March, by the end of March. So that is what I'm going to do on EOS. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I'm doing with that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Next video I'll put out on these is like give an update of VEN, which is VEN. Uh, v chain. I jumped into that one as a scalp and I'm down pretty big on that one. So you guys are going to get to see the pain and you guys are also going to get to see the victory. So lucky you. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I will be sure to personally answer them, even if they are insulting or whatever. I don't give a shit. I will answer them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.